Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college football. Now through the end of Monday Night Football, we've got a promo code for 20% off the entire site of picksandparlays.net. Use the code FALL, F-A-L-L. TCU at Texas, where the Longhorns are favored minus 12. The total is 63. We've got Dan the Professor Kaiser to drop some knowledge on us. Dan, who do you like in this game, or what's your favorite play? To be honest, I think somebody at uh, Picks and Parlays must think uh, I have Texas roots or something. This is the third week in a row. I've, I've got to pick, make a pick out of Longhorns, and so far I've not been close. Uh, but one thing I've learned in the last two weeks is Texas is definitely living up to the Big 12 mantra. Defense, who needs it? Uh, Texas gave up 56 points uh, last week to Texas Tech. They were able to come back and, and win it in overtime, but they had to score twice in the last two minutes and 40 seconds to uh, even get it to overtime. TCU, they get uh, they gave up 37 in their first game loss to uh, Iowa State last week. So obviously neither team can play any sort of defense. So I am looking at the over 63 in this game. Well, it seems like that's the case in most Big 12 games, as you mentioned. Defense is not something that most of these teams love playing. And it seems to me that the odds makers can't make these numbers high enough. Even if they seem really high, usually it goes way over. Because uh, I think if you set a total way too high, nobody's going to take it. Uh, and sometimes it would be even higher than that. So uh, when you look at the number of 63, does that say anything to you uh, when you saw that initially? Did you think that you needed to jump on that immediately? Or um, did you need to take a, a deeper look? Uh, to be honest, when I first saw the number, I, I liked it right away. I mean, Texas, they scored 63 last week. I mean, they would have won over, <laughs> almost won over on, the, on their own. You know, TC, TCU did look great against Iowa State. Texas. They really showed any kind of defense in the first two weeks, but they haven't. You know, Texas, Texas Tech uh, shredded that defense, and they could barely get by Houston Baptist. I just think, you know, and you look at Texas, Sam Ellinger, I mean, that guy's been outstanding. He's still had 688 yards, 10 touchdowns, completing 71% of his passes. You know, everybody for the last two years, I'd be saying Texas is back. Their offense may be back, but somebody better put out uh, – an APB on their defense because it's definitely not back. Right. And if you have to go to overtime, even if you score that many points, that's a problem. Any time you score that many points, you should not need overtime to win a ball game. All right. That's going to do it for our Texas and TCU talk here on Picks and Parlays. Good stuff from Dan, the professor. Kaiser Dan, thanks for joining us.